For better or worse, one of the most common things that I tell my patients is, I don't know. Sometimes that's my answer to the more challenging clinical question of what's the cause of a patient's symptoms despite a normal evaluation. But sometimes the easier questions also become a little more challenging. Ones where I just don't remember something off the top of my head. Like at what stage of CKD should ACE or ARBs not be used for hypertension? Or what the GFR cutoff is for certain medications in heart failure? Or for conditions that I don't treat every single day, what the value cutoff is for normal or abnormal values? Those simple questions can sometimes end up taking an inordinate amount of time. In most instances, it's a basic knowledge question that has a simple answer. My go-to resources are normally up-to-date clinical guidelines, but unfortunately, I'm doing all of that with my patient in the room so that I could help take care of them. It's a drain on my energy and it's a drain on the time that could be better spent doing anything else. That's why I love the idea of artificial intelligence. We already kind of use it in cardiology. For instance, anyone who's interpreted an EKG knows that there's always an automated interpretation that comes at the top of every EKG. And for the most part, the computers are okay at that, but they are far from perfect. And it uses artificial intelligence to do so. But as any medical student, resident, or fellow knows, you can't always rely on artificial intelligence. You have to use that information and take it back to your clinical information that you're applying and your independent thought process. And frankly, with artificial intelligence, the information that you get out of it is normally only as good as the resource it's taken from. That's why for the first time ever, I was actually excited to use Clinical Key AI. Clinical Key AI makes answering these questions quicker and more efficient. It uses high quality clinical data from trusted resources, including textbooks, like Brunwald and medical journals like the New England Journal of Medicine. It uses high quality data from trusted resources, including textbooks, world-renowned journals, including The Lancet, New England Journal of Medicine, and BMJ. Now again, this doesn't replace your clinical thought process. You still have to do your job, but it provides a quick answer to a question, as well as what I think is equally important, resources and references of where that data came from. Clinical Key AI is probably the first medical product that I've actually used that helped me do my job to take care of my patients a little bit quicker. And it made my life a little easier. So let's take a look at Clinical Key AI and see how it works. You open it up and basically type in a question. For instance, what the half-life of clopidogrel is. And what I appreciate about it is that it gives you the information in a well-organized manner with resources for you to look at and a little bit of additional information if you want it. So it's not gonna replace your clinical judgment and interpretation of that information, but it's a great resource to rapidly grab high quality information from trusted resources. If you wanna give it a try, go to the website listed in this video notes. You can try it out for 14 days for free, or you can get a yearly or monthly subscription, or even get it for your institution. So check out Clinical Key AI so that next time you're in clinic or in the hospital and you don't know the answer to a clinical question, it can help you find that answer sourced from high quality medical resources to get you that answer quickly, efficiently, and with references for you to review. So you can do your job just a little bit quicker.